Hey everybody, today we're heading out to do a bit more pheasant hunting. Stick around for this week's outdoor adventure. Hi, my name is Dan and welcome to DC Outdoors. If this is your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor related stuff, well please get started by clicking the like, the subscribe, and the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Well, let's get hunting. He's doing a good job. He's not it's nice because he can check all this stuff. Good boy, buddy. Right, right. Disappointing stuff. We uh, thought found a bird here, but. Someone must have shot one and lost it there. As you could just see, it was just laying in the grass, all chewed up, so it might have been here for a bit, but it's a disappointing start. We'll keep looking. So I have had some of you ask why I have Raider on a leash um, in the past. Well, it's basically just so I don't lose the dog. But today what we've done here is we've extended his lead using a chunk of paracord to roam. At least this way we can kind of still practice with him. I still have some control over him because I am a little nervous of what he might do um, if he sees a bird. I'm afraid he'll chase after it. He's chased after rabbits and squirrels and stuff like that. So that's kind of with what makes me the most nervous, but seems to be doing a good job zigzagging across these rows of uh, taller grass. And uh, hopefully he gets on something. And hopefully if he gets on something, like I said, hopefully he doesn't chase after it. But he's on about 50 feet of paracord, so he definitely has a lot more room to roam. Yeah, that's the way to go. Maybe we'll, uh, well, I see a guy and a dog over that way. Maybe we'll work this side corner again where we flushed that one before. Yeah. Right, this way. Good boy. Good boy, buddy. Oh. Raider! So it's about 10 o'clock. I think we got out here at about 8. It's very windy today, so I hope you all can hear this and it's not too bad of audio. No birds yet. Not many shots. We sure saw a lot of hunters here earlier. Um, it's just me today and my older son. And our dog Raider and um, yeah we're out at the same place that I was back at the beginning of September which again is a, a, a pheasant stocked site so again this is a 
piece of property that's uh, run by the Alberta Conservation Association and uh, they stock this property several times throughout the fall, I think until the end of October with pheasants. So I think today we can kind of stick around here till maybe noonish or so. So I think we're gonna keep trudging along. Wish us luck. I remember these rocks. I think we were in here. Come on, Ray. Four wheel drive, bro. <laughs> Crank it in. You got this. Oh, you're tangled. Oh, you're good. What's that? Okay. So many people here, hey? Yeah. It's like a dog park with guns. Come on, boy. Let's go. Find the birds, buddy. No? What do you see? Stopping for a bite to eat, and since it's spam timber, we made some spam, which is with uh, craft singles, basically processed cheese and mustard on white bread. Mmm, nutritious. This way, right? Cut. Good boy, good boy. All right, well, I just saw a pheasant. Um, I'll flip the camera and show you where he was. I did take a shot at him but again, missed, unfortunately, but I think we might have saw him kind of fly and land down, so it might take another. Um, you see Raider is kind of a little closer to us than where the bird was, so the bird was kind of more like just over, I don't know if I can point, like over there somewhere, and then it flew up over that way, kind of across in that little clearing there off to the right of those trees like so over doo -doo -doo, in there somewhere so might make our way over that way see if we get another chance well we're making our way back to the truck we don't have very far left to go just talked to a really nice old guy here who's hunted this place a few times and gave us a few more little tips on where to look at things so that was nice that was nice to have a chat with a local who kind of knows what's up but yeah it's almost noon so i think we're gonna make our way back to the truck and we'll probably check in with you when we say goodbye Tired, buddy. Yeah, you are. All right, everybody. As you can see, we are back at the truck. Um, it was nice to see a bird. Nice to take a shot at a bird. Too bad we didn't bag it, but uh, learning as we go. And had a great morning out here in the field. And uh, I'm sure that me and the dog and my son were all going to be pretty tuckered out here when the day is done. But. Uh, I just want to thank you again so much for watching, um, but uh, once again, if uh, this was your first time here and you haven't yet subscribed, I would please ask you to hit that subscribe button, um, as well hit that like and the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. 
Until next time, we'll see you outdoors.